Okay, y'all, welcome back. Here's a pretty new set. And uh, basically what we have here are a lot of colors. There's 90 of them. But when you get into this painting, you're going to realize there aren't that many. Because we really can't mix them as much as you can with paint. So these, these colors are pretty close to each other. But I have hundreds more. And you'll find that Sometimes you really need them, but we're going to try to, to work this out. So we have our grays here. We have some like kind of maroon browns, uh, browns, greens, yellows, blues. I really like these purples. I use them a lot. Uh, a lot of these pinks and stuff here. And then these are with some nice highlight type colors here. Okay, this is a big one. There's no such thing as flesh, but this is pretty damn close. So you want to go out and invest. If you have a set that only has a few colors on it, uh, you're going to get frustrated. So don't even go with it. It'll kill you. Okay. So hopefully these don't fall. I'm putting them on a drum. I have a drum that a student gave me. It's really cool. It's like a conga drum. I like drums. So let's see if these things don't fall. If they fall, I'll be very depressed. Okay, so we got that. We tape them together. They don't fall. There we go. Oh, I'm so smart. Sometimes I can barely stand the fact of how unbrilliant I am. Okay, so here we go. We got this coming together now. So now, if one falls, the other one falls with it, which probably won't happen. All right, so let's start with a key. She's pretty pale. So we're going to see the light's coming this way, and uh, our light's coming this way, okay? So we want to start keying our painting. Okay, so we got that. Where else can we key? Maybe here? Using cans on paper. Here. Okay. So we have that. A nice little turning edge right there. Another one here. See, that's fun. I love it. Uh, and then when you're done with the pastels, my, these are you lay them in at an angle. Okay, so you can remember to go back. That's one of the the little tricks that I learned from a video. When you lay them in, you lay them back in at an angle like that, so you know which ones you used. Um, she's gonna have, I'm gonna get rid of this light. Can you guys still see okay? Might still have an angle. All right, never mind. Okay. So these are planes and rhythms. So we're keying our painting. That's going to be the first thing we're going to do. There's the hair, the light part of the hair. that. There we go. She's 
she's starting to starting to state what we're looking for. Here we got a blue here. Blue. Okay, she has green eyes. Light's coming this way. So it's going to be lighter on the other side. And there you go. That's the first thing you're going to do. Go ahead and do this. This gives us a range. Oh, we got to put in our shadow. Kind of a nice, dull shadow on the other side. We don't want it to stand up too much. Alright. A little blotchy, but again, it's just giving me my range of values that I'm going to work with. Cool. Okay. I'll see you next week. Take your time on this. This is if you get this wrong, the whole thing falls apart. So the difference is we've turned her. Okay, and sometimes you can come back in with a little bit of pencil like this. See. Just tighten her up a little bit. And I think we would probably I think her mom would probably say that was her. Just a slightly different angle. I was telling one of my students how the animators would always kind of go into the, at night they go in into our department and try to get their scenes back to put those little finishing touches on it. And production would kick them out. Okay, I'm done. Leave it alone. See you guys in the next class.